Welcome to my channel. Uh, this is the daily news clips. I still have to think about that, what I named it. Um, today, I want to talk about a few things. Um, Missouri is suing Planned Parenthood. Trump was thrown off the ballot in Illinois. Uh, I have more information on the politicization of the intelligence agencies. And Robert F. Kennedy Jr. has been placed on the ballot in two states, and they claim they're going to be in more. So I'm going to talk about those issues. But before I do that, I have to thank you for coming to my channel. Thank you for watching my videos. Thank you for liking them and sharing them and commenting on them. Thank you for subscribing. The, the growth of my channel is just blowing my mind. I'm just amazed, completely amazed by it. And it's you. It's you that's doing that by coming here and watching my videos and subscribing to my channel. So I have to thank you. I don't have a choice. I have to thank you. So thank you very much. So, <clears throat> the first story I want to talk about is this one. A, a watchdog group has uncovered docs showing that the U.S. government is now funding more gain-of-function research in China. At the Wuhan Institute... What is wrong with these people? Do they not understand the danger of this? What is the benefit of doing gain-of-function research? I understand researching viruses. I understand researching ways to find, to, to put a stop to them or to kill them or to at least uh, inoculate people against them. But why? Why is the United States continuing to pursue gain-of-function research which does nothing except create new viruses that are more dangerous, more lethal, and more virulent. What is going on with our government? There, there's no ethics. There's just no ethics at all. This just blows my mind. Of course, I'll put the links to all these in the, in the uh, description so that you can follow up on them if you want to. Uh, this is the story. A Democrat judge has removed Trump from the Illinois presidential ballot. This after the state election board decided they were not going to do that. And, of course, the judge put the, here, the, uh, her, her uh, decision on hold so Trump could uh, contest it. And, of course, we all know that he can contest it till he turns blue, but she'll overturn him and overrule him, and she'll end up implementing it anyway, but it's all going to the Supreme Court where the Supreme Court will decide if states can do this. And based on the arguments that were made at the Supreme Court, I strongly suspect that they're going to slap the states down and say, no, you cannot remove presidential candidates from the ballot just because you don't like them. So, <laughs> oh boy. So here's an article about the, uh, how the, uh, uh, intelligence community, according to the title, says cook the books, but they fiddled with the intelligence and lied about the intelligence to claim that Russia wanted Trump to win when in fact they wanted Hillary to win. So I thought I would play this for you. It's, and now they're, they're starting up Russia too against Trump. When will these people ever learn? Man alive. The possibility of a second Donald Trump presidency has the intelligence community on edge. A new Politico report reveals that top officials are concerned a Trump administration would fundamentally overhaul spy agencies, leading to a, quote, politicization of intelligence gathering. But investigative journalist <laughs> Matt Taibbi's recent reporting unveils that... <laughs> You can't make this stuff up. I mean, seriously, you cannot make it up. 
the intelligence communities, seriously, the intelligent communities are saying that they're worried that Trump might politicize their agencies. They're already so politicized, it's a joke. It's an absolute joke. So what in the world? <laughs> you know, George Orwell was right. Double speak. Man alive, I'm telling you. Politicization of intelligent agencies might not be a new thing at all. Case in point, the Trump-Russia narrative. Now, in a new post on his Substack, Taibbi reveals that far from rema remaining politically neutral, the CIA actually concealed evidence that Russia favored Hillary Clinton in 2016, not the other way around. And in another post, Taibbi and colleagues Michael Schellenberger and Alex Gutentag expose how the government is concealing documents that incriminate the intelligence community for illegal spying and even election tampering. Here to dive further into this reporting is Matt Taibbi himself, one of our favorite guests on Rising. Thank you so much for coming back. Thanks for having me on, Robbie. I appreciate it. So reading your Substack uh, post about this, uh, actually it, it reminded me of, of the words Vladimir Putin said to Tucker Carlson in his recent interview where he actually said that he preferred um, Biden to Trump, which you know, had everyone's heads explode. Wait, wait, wait a minute! I was assured that Putin loves Trump, and they, you know, they just have this love affair together. And he must. So, and we, you know, we can disbelieve him. You can, you know, try to guess what's actually going on there. But you say in your post that far from, you know, Russian uh, intelligence officials, Russian influence operators thinking that um, uh, uh, loving and wanting Trump, they actually saw Hillary Clinton as a as a better as a as a more manageable character. Democrat Julie Johnson is a Texas trailblazer. Oh, sorry In the state about house, that. Julie Johnson championed gun safety. Yeah, first of all, this this isn't exactly a new story. Um, this is based on an investigation that was conducted by the House Permanent Select uh, Committee on Intelligence in 2017 and 2018. People on the left and right who've covered RussiaGate have basically known that this research was done back then and have gotten the general gist of this. So everyone from Aaron Mate to Paul Sperry has reported on this. Uh, but what the what we got that was a little bit new were some direct quotes about things that were left out of this intelligence assessment. Things like uh, the, the idea that Russia was comfortable with uh, Hillary Clinton, that they saw her as representing continuity, uh, that manageable and re representing continuity. Uh, meanwhile, Trump they saw as erratic, um, the, you know, unpredictable, I and mean, then there was a series of other things. Now, that doesn't mean that they necessarily preferred Hillary Clinton, absolutely. It just means that they suppressed intelligence indicating that they might have, and that's actually important. This is an interesting sort of chicken and the egg here. I mean, the, the fact that there existed some intelligence that that one could read as Russia having a preference or at least being comfortable with Hillary Clinton as president, followed by a choice to do Russiagate and sh strongly argue that uh, uh, Donald Trump and later even figures like Bernie Sanders were Putin puppets, that Putin actually preferred them to be in charge as a way to dissuade American voters for supporting them. Do you see there as being any relationship between the two, or is it just a coincidence? Is, is, do we live in a world where they saw the tea leaves heading in one direction, reading one way, is it actually, let's use this kind of, um, the implications that are being raised? Okay. As I always do, I'll put the links in the description for you so that you can follow up on that if you if you desire to. It's always your choice. Uh, I do these things just because I want to make you aware of things that you may not necessarily be aware of. Because if you watch the mainstream media, you will absolutely not be aware of this stuff. And so this is an opportunity for you to get a different view of the news and perhaps... Uh, perhaps learn some stuff you didn't know before. So, the next story is Robert F. Kennedy is on the ballot in Georgia and Arizona. And the liberals are freaking out. Now, I don't think, I don't think anyone knows, really, uh, 
you know my father used to tell me that an expert was a two compound word made up of two parts x as in former and spurt as a drip under pressure <laughs> That's what I think of when I think of experts. The experts are predicting that RFK's entrance into the race will screw up Biden. But I don't think you can predict that. I don't know, you know, I, I don't know that anyone knows who will vote for RFK. And there may be some surprises there. We find those things out when people cast their votes. But one thing's for sure. The Democrats forced RFK to run as an independent if he was going to run at all because they wouldn't allow him on the primary ballots. They wouldn't, they wouldn't even give him Secret Service protection. I mean, they did everything in their power to keep him from off of the presidential ballot for this year. And so he said, OK, fine, I'll just run on my own. So if he hurts the Democrats, which is not a guarantee, but if he does, they have no one but themselves to blame. So I'll put that link in the description as well. Oh, you don't want to see my dinner order. Okay. So that's just the news for today. I, I really appreciate those of you who are watching this. I know it's not a lot of my viewers. Most of them are here for the, the music reactions. But there's, there's a small cadre of folks that are interested in this stuff. And so I will continue to do them because I know you care about this stuff. Oh... So, that's what I dug up for today. As always, I pray for you that you will live an abundant life, that you'll be healthy, and that you'll live a long time, and that God will keep you safe from harm. I pray that he'll do the same for every person you loves, love. And I also pray that you will be anxious for nothing. But in all things, through prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, you'll make your requests known to God. And the peace that passes all understanding will keep your heart and mind in Christ Jesus. This is the Vietnam era vet out. <laughs>